Welcome everybody to the Alternative Support Show, powered by Virgin Magazine. Once again, I am Matthew Connell. I'm super happy to say that we have got Carmella from WWE Smackdown. And since, you know, I saw Ryan sat in on the um, Out of Character podcast, not nailed the intro quite properly. Of course, let's get it right. Let's get the honours rolled out. Because of course, former Smackdown champion, two-time 24-7 champion. Hey, Mix Max Challenge Season 2, our truth. Money of the bank twice, let's not forget. And hey, the one he did forget, Ryan, shout out. WrestleMania Women's Battle Royale 2019. Carmella, who is most importantly, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. As she likes to claim, I'm 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 not coming on too strongly. That's how you like to be announced. Carmella, welcome. That was a great introduction. I give you plus for that thank goodness well i've <laughs> certainly as a first go no rehearsal no practice i'm very very grateful to say thank you for you know taking your time to chat to us here as our first member of the smackdown roster um to talk to us on this show i figured out that i wanted to give the first question up to the next generation of wwe fans my best friend shout out to sean um he's got two wwe crazy kids and i know this because when i visit him those kids beat the crap out of me so i thought <laughs> i'm gonna throw the quest, first question out to them and so they have asked me to ask you carmella the most beautiful woman in wwe very important question they gave me a few questions but i thought this made me laugh the most carmella what is your favorite food Ooh, pizza <laughs> i love pizza Good. I like that. That's a good answer. I have to say that would have to be um, one of my favorites too. But Jude Chester, age three and six. There you go, Carmella. Pizza. So pizza party. When WWE comes to London, Ooh, yes. bring, the bring the pizzas. But yeah. Carmella, we've got to get stuck into things because, of course, we've been so grateful and so lucky to have fans back since July 16th, of course, on SmackDown on your show. Got to have the first taste of having a WWE Universe back. Just how special and just for yourself personally but the, the whole company it was so great to watch from here in london on bt sport um just to see you guys back in action in front of people it was, it was amazing it was incredible you know you forget how much you feed off the energy of the wwe universe and you know being in the thunderdome was great but nothing compares to hearing the roar of the crowd <laughs> and hearing everyone tell me how much they hate me and booing me out of the building i can't please it. everyone i thrive <laughs> off of it and you know being in houston for that that night and having that title match against bianca it was so special and um, that's one of those nights I, you'll just never forget, you know, the, the feeling that I had out there, the, the vibe, the energy of the crowd, it's, there's nothing like it. And certainly nothing beats every time, you know, WWE comes into, into London up at the OT arena, which is up the road from me. Atmosphere is always electric. And we have so much to be excited about, not only because fans are back, but of course we're coming around the corner to SummerSlam. Now, of course, Allegiant stadium, August 21st, Las Vegas. Goodness, I wish I could be there. Um, but nevertheless, we will get to enjoy it for our spirits, WWE Network, for the Americans, of course, on Peacock. Now, a lot of interesting things are going on in the in the women's division on SmackDown. Of course, you've had title opportunities um, with Bianca Belair. And of course, as we saw on SmackDown, Sasha Banks turned up, got involved. Of course, yourself and Zelina Vega had a tag match. A lot of business going down. The face and the and the landscape of the women's division is changing. We've got Tony Storm there. We've got um, Shotzi and Knox. Now, who would you like to see, or who would you like to step across the ring if there's the opportunity at SummerSlam for yourself? So I do think I have some unfinished business with Liv Morgan. You know, she did hmm. take my spot in the ladder match, in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, so I would love to set her straight. Um, I also would love to have a match against Tony Storm. I, so I've heard, yeah. <laughs> I the leopard print. Hmm. The leopard print, you know, I mean, come on, girl. Like, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> but I just think it's it's exciting to have new faces and new matchups because, you know, I, I have been on SmackDown my entire career. So, you know, there's only so much you can do with the same girl. So I think it's great to have new faces and new storylines, new matchups. Um, so I'm just really excited for the SmackDown division. One thing that's been very um, noticeable to us is the inclusion of Pat McAfee, now part of the, um, the broadcast team, alongside Michael Cole. Um, 
how fun or annoying is that for you to have this 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 massive ball of energy um you know representing being a voice of your show um it seems like he's settling quite well yeah i mean well my boyfriend he did take my boyfriend's spot so it's a little mm. i'm used to having my boyfriend over there so it's weird to not have him for sure um because now he's on raw and um but you know it is cool to have pat mcafee it brings a whole different element a different vibe um and yeah i'm excited for it. i think changes are always good and um he is crazy he has a lot of damn energy half the time i'm looking over there he's climbing all over michael cole i'm like what the hell is happening right now um but yeah i love i love having him around well nevertheless hey you never know when when it, when the time comes for another draft or if surprises to happen in raw you know we could have kamala there and get reunited of course Corey graves getting yeah. in an extra hour in raw because of course <laughs> like you said you've been part of smackdown for um you know since you were drafted there yes um uh, and i wanted to know um for yourself of course, incredible talent in and out of the ring on WWE. But for yourself, who are the unsung heroes that we as audiences don't get to hear about that you would say like, you know, these are the people maybe behind the scenes or maybe this talent that you, they don't get enough praise for what they do in and out of the ring. Um, you know, people that deserve that kind of that shine and, you know, as well, albeit an unsung hero. Well, as far as unsung heroes go, TJ Wilson is just, incredible without him our women's division would not be what it is he always fights for the women he always helped like i know I, if i have a question or i have an idea like i can just text him like hey what do you think about this and he's like hell yes or like i don't know maybe we try it like this <laughs> um he is just i think the backbone of the women's division and without him it wouldn't be what it is at all and i think before him was like, fit finley fit finley was just always just doing whatever he could for the women and he'll still text me to this day he'll be like oh great match or something like that so he just always um again it's like fit and then tj they just have fought for the women so much and without them we wouldn't be in the position we're in and just how great is that and how important is that just to have you know for across all the rosters uh, incredible coaches incredible producers now you know and uh, from so many varying experiences and just how much fun does that make your job so much more fun because it just you know sometimes i think um you know look how far the women's division has come in the last five years you know the women's evolution is just grown and the women are taking over the women are doing all of these first evers but without people fighting for that and people fighting for you then it wouldn't be where it is we wouldn't be in the position we're in and it's just really cool to see someone like tj who is like no this is what we're going to do and you guys are going to kill it i'm not worried about it it's going to be amazing and we're like okay cool we're doing it you know and um i i just can't thank him enough for everything that he's done across the three brands nxt smackdown and raw who are you enjoying? Who do you enjoy to watch? Who do you think is catching your eye, entertaining you, you know, with their character work or their performances? What is the Carmella seal of approval? Mm, that's a great question. Let me think about that for a second. You know, I always enjoy The Miz. I think he is just, <laughs> I, he does not get enough credit. You know, people love to hate him, but I'm telling you, he is just so talented he's so good he's not afraid to make a fool of himself he's not mm. afraid to lean into his character and do whatever he can to help the overall show and whoever it is that he's working with um let's see who else um i'm really enjoying rhea ripley i think she is a badass and um, i'm really happy that she's finally in the position she's in i think she's just killing it and um i would love to kick her butt someday She's a dangerous lady. What about in NXT? Of course, you know, you've had a lot of great memories over in NXT. Um, going down there, there's a lot of, lot of, in, you know, great talent down there as well. Anyone that's catching your eye there? Woo. Um, let's see. I mean, Raquel is incredible. She's like, she, like I don't want to make her mad. That's for sure. I'm going to like be on, like my tiptoes are on her. Like, hey girl, you look beautiful. Hey. You're amazing. Bye. <laughs> I am not going to piss her off. That's for sure. And something that was quite entertaining, if I if I may address, um, you know, of course, like we said, there are unsung heroes in WWE. Um, and there are incredible, you know, seamstresses and wardrobe teams. And of course, you know, you referenced on Twitter that you had a, a certain kind of malfunction and managed to finish a match holding the gear together with, um, you know, Bianca Belair. How do we, how do we break down the, the composure to finish off a match with those kind of, you know, well, 
hurdles, so to you say. Know, it's incredible. I'm a professional. You got to do what you got to do. And I, you know, sometimes things happen. That's literally never happened to me. Knock on wood in my seven, eight years of wrestling. It's never happened. Um, but sometimes things happen and you just Absolutely. have to think on your toes and be a, be a professional. I'm here to do what I got to do. I'm going to put on a show. I'm not going to, you know, um, stop a match. We do what we got to do. And that's what we did. Well, it was done with class and grace. And I thought, well, kudos, because I don't know, if I was in that position, I would be in absolute shambles. I'd be all over the place. I'd be like, no, everyone turn away. Get their you phones know, I'm out. I'm going to tell you this. That is probably like the easiest thing that's happened in a match to be able to <laughs> move on from. There's so many things that happen that people don't mm. know, you know, what happens in the ring. And sometimes things go wrong and you just have to keep going and you keep moving. So that to me was like a walk in the park. I'm like, we got this. Um, it, if people only knew sometimes some of the things that you have to go through in a match. Well, absolutely. They you know, very surprised. <laughs> they would be very surprised indeed. And of course, you know, things can happen in a ring. We've seen it with um with Natty. She had um of course a little um little knee injury or was it ankle injury, I believe, um on oh. Raw. And so, you know, and so you know, we have to be forever grateful that all these WWE superstars that put this entertainment on the line for us fans. And of course, talking about entertainment, as I've referenced earlier, we're here in well, I'm here in London, of course, and um WWE is it's, well, it must be crazy for you guys. We're going to get to see you guys hit the road. We're going to see you come over to Pond, London. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm it's so happening. Excited. Newcastle, London, Sel Cardiff, Glasgow, September 19th to 22nd. Come on. Come out back in town. So Bring in the beauty. Excited. In almost Just, two years it's been. I, I can't even I, – I can't stop talking because I'm so excited about it. It's been so long. This is one of my – favorite points of the year is going to Europe and we would do at least twice a year, at least. So exactly. to not be able to do that for almost two years, um, I really feel like there's something missing, you know, there's something missing in my heart and it's the fans over there. I just can't wait to go back and it's going to be so exciting. Oh my God, to have a live crowd in Europe. Oh, I'm it's so gonna, excited. It's going to be pretty I darn special. I can't wait pie, I'll tell you that. Final question from me, Carmela, because of course um, I know from many of interviews, and you haven't. You, this is quite public knowledge. You're a, a big Will Ferrell fan, and I am too. And I, I, I just that makes me very happy, first and foremost. But very, this, I think this is the most important last question of of, of the day. Um, what, what do you think is the most underrated Will Ferrell film? Ooh, under old school. Oh, it's cool. Oh, okay. Because I feel like you don't think of that as being a Will Ferrell movie. You know, you think <laughs> Step Brothers, you think like all of the, the obvious choices. But I think, I mean, and he's also great in Wedding Crashers too. Um, mm. He has, plays a smaller role in that too. But oh my gosh, old school. Are you kidding me? Snoop a loop. Snoop. Yes, sir. Snoop. Bring your green hat. It's just uh, so good. I'm he obsessed. is. I, I personally felt um, in the shadows of what happened, of course, with the great success of. Um, Anchorman, for me, Stranger Than Fiction. I don't feel enough people talk about that film and say how I thoroughly enjoyed that as a Will Ferrell. No, hit. I've never seen that movie. I need to see. I need to watch that. That might be your your new, um, you know, underrated Will Ferrell film. Underrated. Okay, I'm gonna have to add that to the list because there's something that Will Ferrell does. Of course, the, the comedy stuff he does unbelievably well, but there is a kind of I don't know. You have him in your heart when you watch this film, and it's, it's incredible. You know, he Will Ferrell. Um, you know, what well, one hell of a guy. But nevertheless, Carmela, we are very, very excited to see you first and foremost. Bring yourself over to the UK, hitting, of course, London, Glasgow, Newcastle, Cardiff, and and wherever else this wild ride will take you. Of course, Summer Sam as well, and we're very excited to say we continue doing your thing and we're very very happy to see you doing your thing on smackdown and thank you um for stopping by the chat thank you so much man i appreciate it